For today's video, I'm using my So Color colored pencils. There's 72 in this pack, and they're um, very vibrant and very smooth colors that blend really nicely together. Today's video will show how I made my cover page for the month of March of 2019. Daffodils are a spring perennial flower and they belong to the amaryllis family. They have six petals that surround a cup or trumpet shaped center. They regrow every year inside of a brown skinned bulb under the soil. Daffodils were introduced to gardens in about 300 BC. They were brought to Britain by the Romans who thought that the sap from daffodils had healing powers. Daffodils are actually very toxic to both humans and animals. If ingested, you're going to have abdominal pains, you're going to have nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, convulsions, maybe even some paralysis, and possibly death. So, stay away from ingesting any kind of daffodil. The decorative use of daffodils dates as far back as ancient Egyptian tombs and frescoes of Pompeii. In the ancient Greek culture, daffodils appear in two different myths. The young Narcissus was turned into a daffodil at the end of his story. And also the goddess Persephone was picking daffodils when the god Hades kidnapped her and took her to the underworld. It is said that daffodils grow along the banks of the river Styx in the underworld. Many poems have been written about daffodils. A very famous poem was written by William Wordsworth where he talks about his love for daffodils and that they bring him a lot of joy. It's called, I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high over vales and hills, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. I chose to put my daffodils on my cover page in a stained glass design. Stained glass has been around since ancient times. Both the Egyptians and the Romans made small colored glass objects. In the 4th century, stained glass gained recognition as a Christian art form, and one of the oldest examples of stained glass window were found at St. Paul's Monastery in Jarrow, England in 686 AD. During the Gothic period, which is the 13th and 14th century, stained glass took center stage in cathedral designs. Many of those designs can be found in some cathedrals. More recently, during the 19th century, glass artists Lafarge and Tiffany created opalescent stained glass, just like this one.
Now I'm taking my gold paint pen and outlining each section of the stained glass window. Now it's time to do the sign for March right underneath the stained glass window. I'm taking my Secura Micron fine liner and just outlining the sign. Now I'm writing the letters for the word March. I decided to put a cute little daffodil in the middle of the M just for a bit of flair. After I've written all the letters for the word March, I'm going to go back and divide each letter up into little tiny sections, and each section of each letter is going to be a different shade of green. I'm also dividing the background up into sections, and each section is going to be a different shade of orange. And that's it for my March 2019 bullet journal cover page. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have any questions or comments about the video, please leave them in the, in the comment section below. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.